sit back and enjoy the show selected especially for public television. of a New Orleans clarinet. Lawrence Welk loved Dixieland music, and he also loved the sound of the big bands. And that's what this show is all about. Hello, I'm Henry Cuesta, and I'm very proud and happy to say that I've been with the Lawrence Welk television show orchestra since 1972. Working all those years with the Welk band has been an important part of my professional life and has opened many exciting doors for me in my career. Recently, I was part of the Battle of the Big Bands, a 20-state tour that lasted for nearly three months. Night after night, to sold out houses, we played a concert featuring the styles of four of the big band masters, Benny Goodman, Glenn Miller, Tommy Dorsey, and Harry James. I was honored to lead the Benny Goodman portion of the evening, and we were the grand finale of a rousing two-hour celebration of the legendary big bands. This program is an all-star salute to the big band days done in the great wealth television show style. So settle back and get ready to enjoy the good times of the 20s, 30s, and 40s as we tip our hats to the biggest and brightest stars of the big band era. From Hollywood, it's the Lawrence Welk Show! <laughs> We bring you memories of the big band days, saluting such all-time greats as Glenn Miller, Kay Kaiser, Benny Goodman, Tommy Dorsey, and the pioneer of the big bands, Paul Whiteman. Now, here's the maestro of one of the big bands that has lasted, your host, Lawrence Welk. Thank you, girls. Thank you, friends, for keeping us going all these years. I'm sure many of you folks share with us some pleasant memories of those wonderful days of the big bands. We hope to refresh those memories this evening. Let's start with Glenn Miller's American Patrol. Gentlemen, are you ready? A one and two. <laughs>
like that, huh? And the great, my champagne music makers. Frank Sinatra made one of his early recordings with the Pipe Pipers and the great Tommy Dorsey band. Tom Netherton, our quintet, recall the song for you. Latin influence was very strong in some of the big bands, and Prez Prado gave us an exciting tune called Mambo Jumbo. And here it is with America's number one dance couple, Bobby Burgess and Sissy King. <laughs>
Inside this door is a beautiful museum that tells the story of the life and career of Lawrence Welk. Even though he and I grew up two generations apart, I felt we were kindred spirits. I had it a little easier than Mr. Welk because my father, a violin teacher, began giving me lessons when I was three years old. My cousin Ernie Caceres also inspired me. He was a professional musician and had played with the great Glenn Miller Orchestra. Growing up in Corpus Christi, Texas, I was able to hear some of the greatest bands in the world as they came to town to entertain the troops. Louis Armstrong, Jimmy and Tommy Dorsey, Les Brown, and Jimmy Lunsford. I knew that being a part of a band was the career for me. I played with the Corpus Christi Symphony Orchestra right out of high school. I graduated from Delamar College just before I was drafted into the Army in 1952, and that was assigned to the Special Services Branch of the Army. I spent the next eight years touring the United States and Canada with some of the finest big bands on the scene, including Ted Lewis, Jeff Field, and Jack Teagarden. In early 1972, I was living in Toronto and working at a place that attracted visiting musicians. One of those visitors was about to change my life. And I'll tell you all about it after three more great numbers on our big band show. Such a pleasure to have Guy and Rona back with us again. And Guy and Rona, you're on. Thank you. Thank you. It's nice to be back. Hey, Rona, do you remember uh, Kay Kaiser? You mean the man with the southern accent? <laughs> Hi, y'all. Sure, don't, I remember him. You don't him. remember him, do you? Sure, I do. Yeah. How about uh, Jenny Sims and Harry Babbitt? You remember them? I sure do, and I've got a good idea. Why don't you be Harry, and I'll be Jenny? I think that's a great idea, since we're going to do a song that they made very popular with we'll the Kay Kaiser Band. Right? Okay. Who wouldn't love you? Who wouldn't care? You're so enchanting, people must stare. You're the dream the dreamers want to dream about. You're the breath of spring that lovers gab about or mad about. Who wouldn't love you? Who wouldn't buy the west side of heaven if you winked your eye? You're the answer to my every prayer, darling. Who wouldn't love you? Who wouldn't care? Who wouldn't love you? Who wouldn't care? You're so enchanting. People mistake. You're the dream that dreamers often dream about. You're the breath of spring that lovers gab about or mad about. Who wouldn't love you? Who wouldn't buy the west side of heaven if you winked your eye? You're the answer to my every prayer, darling. Who wouldn't love you? Who wouldn't care? You're the answer to my every prayer, darling. Who wouldn't love you? Who wouldn't care? Members of Kate Kaiser and the College of Musical Knowledge. Artie Shaw became famous for his big band. He also made some fine recordings with a small group called the Gramercy Five. Here's one, featuring our own sensational clarinet man, Henry Cuesta.
Some and Rich Wright, featuring a real swinging little groove. Henry Quester, Bob Smale, Neil Levang, Richard Malouf, and our great new drummer, Paul Humphrey. Folks, this next song was one of many hits written by the late Russ Morgan. You'll hear a groove of our pretty girls, also Barney Liddell playing the trombone part that was played by Russ Morgan on the original recording. Bob Ballard conducts. Take it away, Bob. <laughs> Matt Lawrence Welk, and it's a story I always love to tell. I was working with my group in Toronto, and one night Benny Goodman came in with some of his band, including the great trumpet player Bobby Hackett. Bobby knew my cousin Ernie Caceres and told me that Ernie had gone out of his way to help him get a job with Glenn Miller. Bobby told me that he owed my cousin a big favor and had an idea on how to pay him back. He had heard that Lawrence Walk was looking for a clarinet player and offered to get in touch with him and suggest me. Bobby Captain Wood and Lawrence himself called. I wasn't home at the time, so my wife, Jeanette, answered. He asked her what kind of musician I was, and she said, well, Henry is the kind that plays the same way for two people as he plays for 200. He laughed and told her, Henry sounds like another Lawrence Walk, so have him come in for an audition. That was September 1972, and I've been a part of the Welk family ever since. On with the show. At one time, Dick Dale played with Harold Laufelmacher and his six fat Dutchmen out of New Orleans, Minnesota. In a way, I guess you could call that a big band. Dick is joined now by Sandy Gale and Mary Lou for this Glenn Miller favorite. <laughs> Pardon me, boy, is that the Chattanooga choo-choo? Track 29, hey, you can give me a shine. I can afford to board the Chattanooga choo-choo. I got my fare and just a trifle to spare. You leave the Pennsylvania station down the door. Finer, to have your ham and eggs in Carolina. When you hear the whistle blowing ink to the bar, then you know the Tennessee is not very far. Shovel all that coal in, gotta keep it rolling. Ooh, Chattanooga, there's gonna be 
A certain party at the station Satin and lace I used to call funny face She's gonna cry Until I tell her that I'll never roam So Chattanooga choo-choo Won't you choo-choo me home Chattanooga, Chattanooga Get on board Chattanooga, Chattanooga All aboard Wasn't that excellent? Very nice, stick and girls. Memories of Tex Benigy and the Modern Airs. The great Bob Crosby band used the beautiful Gershwin song for their theme. I know you'll enjoy this song by our lovely champagne lady, Norma Simmer. Cherokee was written by English band leader Ray Noble, and it was a big record hit for American band leader Charlie Barnett. Well, we've got a, an arrangement that really moves, and I'll need all the help I can get from my dancing buddies, Bobby Burgess and Jack Emmel. Ready, fellas? We're ready. All right. Let's go. Here we go. One and two and...
Johnny's Theme, written by Paul Anka for Johnny Carson, is one of the songs coming up in the next segment. And it reminds me of a great story. I was in the office of Lawrence's personal manager when the Tonight Show people called and asked if Mr. Welk would like to come on the show. Sam Lutz said, Henry, do you want to go on the Carson show with Lawrence? I sure didn't have to think about that very long. I suggested that we do Oh Henry, the great clarinet solo that Mr. Welk had written for me. It's a good thing that Lawrence and I had played the song together so many times because that night he jumped up in the air to give it a bigger than ever finale. It's one of my favorite memories of working with Lawrence Welk. Here's another example of the Latin influence of the big bands. The theme song of Xavier Cougat. Anna Connie gives us the Spanish words of my shawl. Allá en el bate, allá bajo la sombra de un palmar. Empezaba un rey, la fiesta de su tribu a celebrar. Al compás de un sol, con un ritmo marcado y sin cesar. Recently, I was a guest on the Johnny Carson Show. In our brand new album, we included the Johnny's theme, and we'd like to dedicate it to Johnny and the leader of the Tonight Show band, Doc Severinsen, and his great musicians. We'd like to feature Bob Havens, Bob Smale, and our new drummer, Paul Humphrey. Gentlemen, are you ready? I want
identify this next song with either Eddie Cantor or Al Jolson. But in case you don't know, it was actually written by the late Ted Fiorito, who was a famous band leader and had a very popular band for over 30 years. So when you add those three together, this kind of, if it comes to nostalgia, is kind of a triple header tonight. So guys, let's swing out with Toot Toot Tootsie. <laughs> Tootsie goodbye, toot toot tootsie don't cry, that choo choo train that takes me away from you, no words can tell how sad it makes me, kiss me tootsie and then, ah, oh, do it over again, watch for the mail, I'll never fail, if you don't get a letter, then you know I'm in jail. Tut tut tootsie, don't cry. Tut tut tootsie, Tootsie, don't cry. That choo choo train that takes me away from you. No words can tell how sad it makes me. Come on, kiss me, Tootsie, and then ah, oh, do it over, do it over again. And watch for that mail. I'll never fail. If you don't get a letter, then you know I'm in jail. T don't cry, toot toot tootsie, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. This is my good friend Tom Wheat, W-H-E-A-T, one of the great guitars of all time and someone who worked with the King of Swing, Benny Goodman, is going to help me play a little tune for you. Ready, Tom? <laughs> Memories of You was a big hit for Benny Goodman, and I was fortunate enough to have met and talked with him five or six times over the years. Knowing him is one of those memories that you like to brag about to your children. I have two daughters, Marion, who studied classical piano and flute at Pepperdine University, and is married to a string bass player named Tim Powell, and Lucinda, who attended Marymount School for Girls and the Fashion Institute and works for a famous designer store on Odell Drive in Beverly Hills. Next number is Benny Goodman's signature song, and his biggest hit, and one of Mr. Welk's favorites. This next song should recall members of the great Benny Goodman band, trumpet man Siggy Elman and singer Martha Tilden. Let's hear it again with Tanya, Johnny Sell, and our fine trumpet section. <laughs> sings the sweetest song I ever heard You speak and the angels sing Or am I breathing music into every word Suddenly the setting is strange I can see water and moonlight beaming Silver waves that break on some undiscovered shore 
all change Long winter nights with the candles gleaming Through it all your face that I adore You smile and the angels sing And though it's just a gentle murmur at the start We kiss and the angels sing their music ringing in my heart. Please. I just want to remind you, Tanya, to be sure and bring the boys over here next week and have them worked up so they can be on our Christmas show. They won't miss it. Okay, very good. Here's a chance to really test your memory. You'll hear a swing tune exactly the way it was recorded by the late musical genius Duke Ellington in 1928. It's titled Ring Them Bells, featuring our chief bell ringer, Jack Emmel. Jack Emmel, our associate producer, trombone by Bob Havens, and a saxophone challenge by Dave Edwards and Russ Klein. The famous Andrews sisters were very much a part of the big band days. Naturally, this was long before the days of our own Samansky sisters. Just listen to the fine job the girls do on this Andrews sisters hit. Yeah. 
being on the road is the opportunity to work with interesting people. A few years ago, I played with the Jack Mitchell Band in Arkansas, and believe it or not, he called later and asked if I would like to play at President Clinton's inaugural ball. In the next few weeks, I got my clearance from the FBI and my official invitation, and then headed off to Washington, D.C. We played for the Arkansas ball, and it was the biggest of all the events. There must have been 15,000 people there with bands on all four sides of the room. It was an unbelievable evening and one of the highlights of my career. A career that I owe in large part to the Lawrence Welk television show. Joe Feeney brings back some pleasant memories of singer and band leader Eddie Howard. With Eddie's biggest hit, Bob Rothson at the organ. Bob, a little introduction, please. <laughs> remain with the sun and the rain or its lovely promise won't come true to each his own to each his own and my own is you what good is a song if the words just don't belong and a dream must be a dream for two. No good alone to each his own. For me, there's you. If a flame is to grow, there must be a glow to open each door. There's a key. I need you, I know, I can't let you go, your touch means too much to me, two lips must insist on two more to be kissed, or they'll never know what love can do, to eat his own, I found my own, one and only you. Very nice, Bob and Joe. Here's a song that was made popular by the Francis Craig Band of Nashville, Tennessee. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we hear it by our Ava Barber, our country gal. And take it away. There's just one place for me near you. It's like heaven to be near you When we're far apart I can't face my heart 
say you'll never stray more than just two lips away if my hours could be spent near you i'd be more than content near you make my life worthwhile by telling me that i'll spend the rest of my days near you came back from Miami where I was autographing copies of my new book, My America and Your America. I had a very pleasant surprise when my old friend band leader Art Mooney came up with a book to be autographed. It reminded me we should include Art's million seller on this show. You folks all know the song, so feel free and sing along. Recalling the days of the big bands, let's not forget a real pioneer in this field. The man who became known as the Dean of Modern American Music, the great Paul Whiteman. One of his most famous recordings was When They Is Done. And let's hear it again, this time with George Cates conducting. <laughs> Thank you. 
That music reminds me of the time I actually worked with Paul Whiteman. I was a young guy, fairly new with the Jack T. Garden Band. Jack received a special invitation from Paul Whiteman to play the Rhapsody in Blue, and I was chosen to play the famous clarinet cadenza. At the rehearsals that day, Paul Whiteman took one look at my horn glasses and said I looked like a teacher, and for the rest of the day, my nickname was Teach. I just couldn't believe that I was actually playing for the legendary Paul Whiteman. Many musical legends, including Lawrence Welk, have been mentioned in this show, and each one was special in his or her own way. The Big Ben era was also unique and influenced musicians all over the world. And we're still playing that great music today in the same distinctively American big band style. I hope you have enjoyed the show, and I look forward to seeing you out there on the road. Now, if you don't mind, I'll just play my way on out of here. So long. Thank you.